Uh, it was a rough week for rates. Uh, Jerome Powell delivered a pretty blunt message this week saying basically the economy is quote unquote remarkably good and just he's not showing any urgency or as, not, as much urgency to lower rates. And the market heard him loud and clear and has now adjusted its expectations for a December Fed rate cut down to about a 55% likelihood. Uh, retail sales did come in stronger than expected, and, and that was kind of hurt by revisions higher for last month's numbers, and that was a bit of a blow for mortgage rates. And with Powell signaling that lower rates are ahead, but not guaranteed, especially for December 18th, the outlook for rates has shifted pretty dramatically from two months ago. So for now, don't expect significant rate drops in the near term. We got CPI and PPI inflation numbers that came in as expected this week, but the shelter lag in inflation that we've been talking about for what feels like forever <laughs> continues to keep reported figures higher. And without this lag, inflation would actually be much closer to the Fed's target rate. Um, Real-time shelter costs are expected to you know, align more closely when we get reports by January, uh, when we're going to have some more friendly year-over-year -year comparisons. So there is hope for improvement in rates early 2025. But initial jobless claims continue to come in pretty low, probably influenced by seasonal hiring, but um, continuing claims are trending at their highest levels in three years, so the job market's really not all that strong. Um, retail spending has been higher than income growth, and a lot of households are left living paycheck to paycheck or relying on credit. And while this consumer spending supports the economy now or shows it being stronger, it really can't last forever. Uh, it is a light week ahead with existing and new home sales reports coming out, but uh, and these could offer you know some insight into how buyers are navigating higher rates. But the next major market mover is going to be that Fed decision on December 18th, where we're going to get some clarity on you know the path for rate cuts heading into 2025. Um, just to sum things up, we're not going to see rates drop significantly in the coming months, but. There is a lot more optimism for next year, and I'll be back next Friday with another update. Have a great weekend, and take care.